at least remind me. Yes, Your Worship. Thank you. Um, it was brought to my attention by you know, the local food action group. Forward met uh, another funding opportunity. The last one we had this endorsement, unfortunately, it wasn't successful, but there's a larger one coming through, which is government and UBCN. And uh, I'll just read the motion. Uh, the report, the report, sorry, Carl, please. Okay. Oh, I can. I can. Okay. That the City of Santa Ana submit a grant application in the amount of $35,000 under the BC Health and Communities Grant Program, and that same be included in the 2007 to 2011 financial plan. Uh, to specifically go over. We actually have to send a letter of interest by October 9th, so that's sort of the imminent timeline. And uh, there is a sort of preliminary letter that the Food Action Group has sort of uh, started and will craft further with staff assistance if needed. Uh, and then the deadline is actually in December application. And what they're hoping to do is the project uh, in relation to um, uh, individual health promotion, uh, use access to and use local foods by people of all incomes and people of their infants and children and to have a healthy activity of this group through gardening, to create a sense of pride, accomplishment, and appreciation of nutritious food, and to provide knowledge and tools to continue to garden in such a Use the, the project funds to uh, build a variety of uh, raised bed backyard gardens for low-income families and the various support elements in place. So I'm hoping that Council is willing to endorse pursuing uh, both the letter of interest and uh, the ultimate grant application. Any questions or discussion? Nope. Oh. Mr. Harris. Uh, essentially, if we don't go forward, so no. It's a, it's a 35 I understand correctly. Yes. Okay. okay. We have that what you're about to say. Yeah, yeah. second. Second by Councilor Rice. Councilor Harris? No, it sounds like so there's no matching. Councilor no. Campbell. I just have a question about, uh, I think it was said in there that the backyard gardens, how do you get or how do you know what to do? Uh, in, in terms of what context, sorry? Well, wasn't it to sponsor backyard gardens? Probably? Yeah, for for specifically for low-income families yeah. that don't so have the resources. So just anybody that comes forward wants garden beds? Uh, well, I would say, again, you have to meet various criteria of low-income families and probably, and I, based on just the, the sort of outline uh, that's here, it, there would be certain criteria that would have to be met in terms of uh, income levels and so on, and, and needing the, re the, the assistance to go forward with this type of Initiative. I don't have a problem, but it was just a question. All in favor? Motion is carried. We have 13-1. Uh, uh, Councilor Friend is going to do his time this evening. What about the time deal? Oh, we have the time deal. I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, from the administrator. 13-2, sorry. The ORL. Council statement. That's on 13-2. We're still on 12. Okay. Your Worship, I've been informed that there's a new uh, grant program available through Western Economic Diversification Canada. And the amounts involved are sort of unknown at this time. It looks like there might be a million dollars for the surrounding region here. And in talking with uh, David uh, Andrews from Community Futures, we talked about a couple of projects that that may qualify. We looked at two of them. One was uh, providing the sewer sewer to a portion of the industrial. The cost of that is maybe about eight million dollars. This sort of beyond the scope of this. The other one we talked about is the Jackson Field House. Uh, uh, Dave Andrews seems to think that that would fall within uh, the approval. Of, uh, category for this grant. It's all about uh, tourism and economic development in, in areas of the province that are coming from the pine needle. And uh, as Council knows, we are $140,000 short in order to fund that project. Uh, we've applied for a community tourism grant for 70, so we may or may not get that. And I would suggest that uh, the city apply for a grant under this program in the amount of 140 years towards the Jackson Fuel House. What councillor website said? Who is the going to fix Councillor Campbell. Is there a timeline when that application has to be in? We have to uh, submit it and address by the 19th of October. Because I have a piece of information that. Uh, I would share in 
You worship, I might add, that this is not limited to local governments and potentially the Teen Heritage Park applying for the asylum in this program. That's right. So we go to this up. Yes. Councillor Ray Lyson. Yeah, I was going to ask if it was just limited to this. Are we all, as a city, are we only allowed to apply for one? No. No, so we're, maybe, maybe for the next council meeting, and we're, we're as a city, for a million? We, we, we have a motion on the floor. Maybe we should speak to that particular motion now, and then if you to add to it, then we can do that. I'd, I'd, I'd like to access as much money as possible, Your Worship. Yes. I think that there's a lot of worthy things. And there, are, there is a lot of worthy things. And, there. and speaking, we, speaking if, if, I could, if we deal with this item speaking to the motion and, pass, and pass it or fail it, and then you can turn up another one if you wish. Speaking to the motion, Your Worship, it seems that a lot of our, our fundings and our, a lot of tourism funding have gone to the field houses, the joint user project. And I'm just wondering if maybe our tourism, if uh, we didn't put all our eggs in one basket, it might be it might be a wise thing for us to do, unless this is the top priority of this council. Council? Councilor Flynn. Well, I just want clarification of staff, because as I understand it, we've applied for the 70000 from the tourism initiatives, but if we got that seventy, we wouldn't need 140 from this, is that correct? You're kind of double applying? That's correct. And um, I would think that this council, by just approving the previous motion on the joint use agreement, showed that they were in support of the joint use agreement and the, on that facility. To change that, um, to me, doesn't make any sense. I don't think that that's necessarily asking for everything. The reality is, is that it's half done, and there's a field house that everybody has agreed we need washrooms down in that area. Everybody has agreed that project is worthwhile, and now we're kind of saying it's not. I'm not arguing that there isn't other issues. But I think you have to understand that staff is talking about two issues here. We applied for seventy thousand for the tourism funding. If we get that seventy thousand and then this one hundred and forty thousand comes through, that seventy thousand is freed up for something else. So I think we have to be careful what we just voted on previously. Um, everybody supported that, and now we're saying that we're not in support of finishing. Councilor Cantel. Well, this is another example of how I wish we'd have had a little bit of warning because. I could have shared the other information, and I'm concerned that it's going to end up being like the priorities that we put forward on the other ground, which I don't know whether we've heard anything on, but the four priorities. And, um, you know, I would hate to see us, for the lack of another word, waste 70000 for a project that would a lot more. Councilor Kenner, we will be during our session then. You know, can I maybe. table this? Can we table this then? Well, we don't. Do we not have uh, a, a we, in our expression of interest on the 19th? Yes, you are. We made a decision today. Can I, can we table it last in camera. To be public, though, this particular motion shouldn't be in camera. Can I just get clarification? We can apply for as many of these as we would like. Uh, so a million for the region? Yes. And is it, does it require matching funds or this is a straight grant? Your Worship, this is a percent. So they will fund 90% of the project. Okay. Any further discussion? Councillor Eliason. Yeah, Your Worship. Uh, I wasn't speaking against the joint use. It's really important for our community to have a joint use agreement. I think it's a worthwhile project. I just uh, I just see a lot of our, our applications for grants and funds as a city going towards the development of this joint use agreement, and I, I and I just want to be sure that perhaps to be applying for other things at the same time. And uh, I mean, there's a lot of different things that we could make. Our it's an economic diversification time when the pine trees are. I think that there perhaps are other projects worthy of money that would generate larger, multiple larger, larger funds from economic diversification for tourism. That we should explore those options. Yeah. I think that we all have different things that we want to see grant money go to, but I think what our administration that we have an opportunity to apply for this, and there's more opportunities in this one umbrella for for other organizations or other projects. So I think what we're looking at is the joint use agreement finishing up those 